Hey guys, what's up? Uh, back with another video. Uh, we are going to do our final resolution Impact Wrestling pay per view for December 9th, 2023. Uh, so yeah, we've got two events on December 9th. Uh, we've got NXT Deadline, which I've already done predictions for in the, in the previous video. But now we're going to focus on Impact Wrestling's final resolution, which is kind of convenient because it is their final resolution because uh, it's their final pay-per-view as Impact Wrestling because uh, in January they're going back to TNA. So, um, yeah, pretty cool stuff. Let's get let's get this off, shall we? We got some ma uh, several matches to go through, so no time like the present. Let's get on with this, shall we? Uh, don't want to be hard. Don't want to don't want to don't want to take up your time all day, do I? So anyway, let's kick off with the pre-show match. We've got Frankie Kazarian taking on uh, Sheldon Jean. And the pre-show, this one's pretty easy. I got Frankie Kazarian to pick up the victory right here. Um, get, give Frankie Kazarian a win going into the new year with the with the TNA stuff. I know Fra Sheldon Jean's very young. Uh, he's just he was a protege of Kenny King, but of course Kenny King has left Impact Wrestling slash TNA now. So uh, so Sheldon Jean's on his own. So Sheldon Jean is on his own, and he's probably going to try and make a statement. But I think on this night he will lose to uh, Frankie Kazarian on the pre-show. Next matchup, we have the Tag Team Championships on the line. You have the Impact Tag Team Champions, ABC of Chris Bay and Ace Austin, defending the Tag Team titles against the make-believe team of Eddie Edwards and Brian Myers. Uh, again, this one's pretty easy. Uh, I don't see them changing the Tag Team titles this close to the, the, to the name change. Uh, so I feel like Chris Bay and Ace Austin will retain the, the, the Impact Tag Team Championships going into TNA. So... Uh, there's going to be a lot of that in this prediction video, just to give you a bit of a spoiler. Uh, you know, like people get, either getting momentum going into the new year with, t with in, into, into the new co into the new name change, or you know, keeping the belt. So either that way. Anyway, so I'm going to go with ABC of Ace Austin and Chris Bay to retain here. Uh, next match up, we have the uh, knockout tag team action as the knockout champion uh, Trinity teams up with her hard to kill opponent Jordan Grace. To team up against uh, the team of Gianna Perazzo and Gerald Shaw. Uh, this one's pretty easy. It's going to be, I think it's going to be Trinity and Gianna. Uh, not, Jesus Christ, let me try that again. I think it's going to be Trinity and Jordan Grace picking up the victory right here. Um, so yeah, um, to, to you know to get to build momentum going into their hard to kill match in January. So pretty cool stuff right there. Uh, next match up, we have a uh, a, a a fight with animals. Because we have Rhino, the man beast, Rhino taking on Moose, um, who is the number one contender for the Impact World Championship going into Hard to Kill. So, a very easy prediction right here. I'm going to go for Moose to beat Rhino because Moose has the World Championship opportunity against Alex Shelley in the, in the new year at uh, Hard to Kill. So, um, there's my pick for that one. Uh, next matchup, we have Speedball Mike Bailey taking on Trey Miguel. This one should be fun, X Division style matchup. Uh, most likely it might be the opener as well. With them, uh, it might be the opener. It'd be a pretty solid matchup. Speedball's had an amazing year. You know, you remember his match with Osprey at Bound for Glory. A solid matchup with Osprey at Bound for Glory. And I don't expect anything less with this match against Trey Miguel right here. So um, about, about my pick is of course Speedball Mike Bailey to get the pick uh, to get the win um, to get you know to get uh, to get more momentum. Sorry, I keep saying momentum a lot. It's just, you know, with it being the last pay-per-view before they get the name change, I feel like there's going to be a lot of matches just to set up, you know, just to give someone a little bit of momentum going into the new year. Um, anyway, next matchup, we have Jake Something taking on uh, Jason Hotch. Uh, this one's pretty easy. I'm going to go for Jake Something. Um, Jason Hotch is a tag team wrestler where, you know, he used to be, he was in the, uh, the him and some other guy, I can't remember his name off the top of my head, Used to help bully Ray a lot, and now they're on their own as a tag team. And I feel like Jake Something's going to get the win here. So, anyway, moving on. Next matchup, we have the Digital, digital Media Championship on the line. We have the defending champion, Tommy Dreamer, defending the title against Dina. So, uh, for the Digital Media Championship, uh, I'm going to go with Tommy Dreamer to retain. Uh, I feel like he's got some unfinished business with Crazy Steve. Uh, I don't know how, how how long ago it was, but crazy, they had a match on Impact where Crazy Steve cashed in his uh, uh, Feast of Fired briefcase opportunity for the Digital Media Championship, and uh, Tommy Dreamer got disqualified for using the fork 
uh, he, you know, he, he forked him, basically. Not fuck. He didn't fuck him. That's the, that's the, 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 the terrible force right there of Tommy Dreamer fucking someone. But he forked uh, Crazy Steve. Yeah, Tommy Dreamer, uh, he, he got to qualify for using the fork. And uh, so I feel like there's unfinished business with Crazy Steve and Tommy Dreamer right there. So I feel like that will be the New Year's, New Year's nightmare for Tommy Dreamer. I don't know. Uh, so, yeah, I feel like he's going to retain here against Dina going into the new year. And then uh, finally, we have the main event. We have the tag team action as the X Division champion, Chris Saban, teams up with his tag team partner, the Impact World Champion, Alex Shelley of the Motor City Machine Guns, taking on the team of Josh Alexander and the debuting in Impact, uh, Zack Saber Jr. So that should be pretty, it should be a pretty cool matchup right here. Uh, you know, Saban, Saban hasn't got a challenger for the X-Wing Championship, as I'm, as I'm, I don't think I'm aware right now. Um, Alex Shelley is fighting Moose at, uh, hard to kill. Josh Alexander's, not, you know, coming off the loss at Bound for Glory to Alex Shelley. And, uh, this is Zack Saber Jr.'s debut. So, it could go either way. I've been thinking about this for the last couple of days, like, you know, like, kind of like pinpointing, like, you know, who, who needs the momentum more. You know, Shelley's got the world title match against Moose. Uh, but I feel like uh, I'm going to go with this one. I'm going to go with my uh, with what, what, what I want to happen rather than what I think will happen. Uh, and I think I want uh, Saber, Zack Sabre Jr. to like pin or submit Chris Saban and set up an X Division Championship match in the new year with Saban versus uh, Saban versus Zack Sabre Jr. Hard to kill because that'd be a pretty cool matchup in my opinion. Uh, but yeah, um, so yeah, there you go. Uh, Josh Alexander and, and Zack Sabre Jr. is my pick for this main event. Um, yeah, it should be a solid match. It should be a solid end to the Impact Wrestling era of uh, you know Impact Wrestling uh, as we go into a new era with TNA Wrestling uh, coming back in 2024. Look forward to it. Um, thanks. You know, I, I'm going to sound a little bit. I'm going to sound a little bit uh, corny now, but uh, you know, thanks. Thanks for all the memories there, uh, Impact Wrestling. You know, it's been really good. You know, Impact Wrestling really dug themselves out of the hole that some people put themselves in. I'm not going to mention names, uh, <laughs> uh, bro. Uh, <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, yeah, um, Impact have really dug themselves out of their grave, you know, with you know, uh, with the new ownership. You know, Scott demore has been pretty cool. Uh, Anthem has been really good. And uh, yeah, they weren't able to get Will Ospreay, unfortunately. But I, th- I, I heard somewhere today or yesterday that Will Ospreay will be doing dates with, him, with TNA uh, in, in January, so that's pretty cool before he goes to AEW, so that's pretty good. Hopefully I see him a hard to kill, that'd be pretty good too. Uh, but that, that's the, we'll wait until, we'll wait and see on that point. Anyway, that's, that's my predictions for Impact Wrestling's final pay-per-view, uh, ever as Impact Wrestling as the, um, yeah, as I already said, they're going to TNA next year in January. So yeah, pretty cool stuff, uh, the end of the end of an era. And uh, I'm rambling now, so I'm going to stop rambling. So anyway, that's going to be it now, guys. Uh, tell me what you think in the comments. Leave me a like if I deserve it. And I'll see you guys in a bit. And I'm out.